Why did Jesus die? The answer is that Jesus died to save humanity from the penalty, power, and presence of our own sins. The word sin means to miss the mark. It means to violate God's standard of perfection. It means to break God's law. And there is a price for sin. The Bible says that the first man and woman sinned against God by breaking his commandment. When that happened, man became separated from the holy God and his heart became dark and sinful. Since then, every person who has been born into the world has a sinful nature. This is why it is so easy for us to do wrong. This is why the world is filled with trouble, pain, fighting, war, and sorrow. God could have destroyed mankind because of sin, but the Bible says God loves man and wants to save them. God's only begotten Son is Jesus. He came into the world, born of a virgin, and lived a sinless life. Then he died on the cross to bear the punishment that we owe God because of our sin. We have broken God's laws. God is a holy God, and he is a God of law and justice. He gave his law to men about 3,500 years ago, and it was written down in the Bible. But all men have broken God's laws. For example, the first law of God says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Because men have broken God's laws, they must be punished. The Bible says, For the wages of sin is death. If I die without receiving forgiveness for my sins, I will be punished forever in a burning hell. But Jesus took our punishment upon himself when he died on the cross. Those who believe in him and receive him personally as Savior will not be punished, but will be forgiven and will receive eternal life. So why did Jesus die? The good news is that he died for your sin. And three days later, he rose from the grave. Today, he is alive in heaven, and he is waiting to receive you. He says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. If thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.